Hello, Sony. We are Anonymous. It has come to the attention of the Anonymous activist community that you have chosen to stand by the Stop Online Piracy Act. This act will halt online businesses and restrict access to many sites for many users. Supporting SOPA is like trying to throw an entire company from off a bridge. Your support to the act is a signed death warrant to Sony Company and Associates. Therefore, yet again, we have decided to destroy your network. We will dismantle your phantom from the internet. Prepare to be extinguished. Justice will be swift, and it will be for the people, whether some like it or not. Sony, you have been warned, to those doubting our powers. We've infiltrated the servers of Bank of America, the United States Department of Defense, the United Nations, and Lockheed Martin, in one day. For their approval to SOPA, we have also declared that our fury be brought upon the following persons. Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, Kim Kardashian and Taylor Swift, Operation Blackout, Engaged, Operation Mayhem, Engaged, Operation Waltz x Mass, Engaged, We are Anonymous, We are Legion, We do not forgive, We do not forget, Supporters of SOPA, You should have expected us. Greetings, Sony customers and PS3 users. We are Anonymous. During the last few days, Anonymous has been targeting Sony for their outrageous treatment of not only PS3 users and jailbreakers, but also of the general public. Their propaganda regarding jailbreaking implies that it encourages piracy and thereby makes people lose their jobs, whereas jailbreaking actually just means you are making your device do what it should do. Imagine if Microsoft forced you to use Internet Explorer instead of Firefox or Chrome. Imagine if they denied users from using any other web browser than their own. Many people would obviously be pissed, but then, why aren't you pissed at Sony? The fact that their litigation demanded information on everyone who had viewed the material was completely unacceptable. This is a threat not only to the gaming community, but to freedom of information in general. The fact that the privacy of individuals can be violated simply for accessing information, and legal action can be taken for doing something with something you own, are steps far beyond the line. Anonymous decided it could not allow this to stand.